Hi, today we have Josh with us. He came down from Georgia to our clinic to get his back treated. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some bone marrow from his pelvis. We're also going to use some of his plasma and we're going to inject that into his discs and into his spinal structures to get him to heal and hopefully get rid of his symptoms. All right, I'm going to show you how we're going to harvest the bone marrow stem cells from his pelvis. We're going to use a trocar and we're going to take some of the stem cells out and that's what we're going to use for his disc injections. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and withdraw some of the bone marrow. You can see the red bone marrow going into the syringes. So we collected all the bone marrow. Now we're taking it to the lab. We're going to process it. I'm going to clean up the area where we did the harvesting. And then next we're going to go ahead and do this procedure. All right, so we have some bone marrow concentrates, some plasma, some other products, and we're going to get started with the procedure. We're going to mark some of the areas where we're going to inject. We're going to clean the area and we'll get started. I'm going to go ahead and clean the area, make sure it's sterile and safe. I'm going to go ahead and numb up the area of the injection site. I'm going to insert the needle towards the disc. I'm going to check with the x-ray to make sure that the needle is placed correctly. So what I'm going to do is going to put some contrast in there and we'll see if the disc is leaking. Go live. I can see the contrast is spreading within the disc. Okay. And we're going to do the stem cells. Here's a little pressure. There's a picture of his disc and the contrast going into the disc. You can see the contrast is leaking outside of the disc. It tells me that's a damaged disc and that's the one we treated. So we're done with the discs. Now we're going to use some of the bone marrow stem cells that will mix with some PRP. And we're going to treat all the joints and all the ligaments and all the muscles. That's going to treat his whole spinal unit and it's going to give him the best results. So here you can see the facet joint. Here you can see my needle going towards the facet joint. And we're putting in some bone marrow stem cells around the facet joint. There we go. Here again you can see the L3-4 facet joint. And you're going to see my needle going in right there. I'm going to treat some of the muscles, good. We're going to treat the SI joint as well. You can see my needle going towards the SI joint and all the ligaments. Right. And there's the stem cells going in. So we are done with the treatment. I've treated his discs, his ligaments, his joints and his muscles as well as, well as the SI joints. Now he's going to go home and recover. He's going to go and rest. Uh, he's going to limit some of his Ac uh, activities over the next one to two months and hopefully in the next two to three months we should start seeing significant improvement in the symptoms.